Alright, March 26 and it's 3.49 p.m. I actually thought today was Wednesday. So many things, work with the kids, do a lot of stuff. So my husband took the kids out to ride their bikes and I told him to stay in the park, uh, Liberty State Park, because it's huge. And I told him to go at this time because around 5, people who are working home are going to start at like 5 o'clock, they're going to start taking their kids out. So I told him to take them now to have at as less contact with other people as possible. And I told him not to take the kids to the playground. They have a playground within the park. Don't go there. Just ride your bike in the open space. You guys are all together. That's it. You don't need to interact with anybody. So the reason I sort of lose track of days, what day it is, is that every morning I get up, work with my oldest, then as soon as my oldest is done, I have to work with my youngest. And yesterday, my husband tried to fix this old laptop we have. It's very old, very, very old. So while my oldest is working in the computer over here, my youngest could do minimal stuff, you know, in here. But he can't really watch videos because uh, that laptop is very old. So he's thinking of buying an another one. We don't think we really need it at this moment, but... I mean, at this moment, we need it because of their schoolwork, but it's not that major. And the computer in the back, which is where my office is, uh, he's using it to do his regular job. So that's why you guys are not seeing any videos being uploaded, with the exception of small video, I think one or two minutes in it. I've edited on my phone, and it's not that good. So now, even though I have the house to myself, my youngest was uh, doing this work, so... I have to check, you see all these tabs, if you could see them, this, 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 these are schoolwork he did, I need to check them, and then I have to submit them. So let me get to it, and there's a Spanish homework, I think he either did it, or I have to take a picture of it to upload it on the, to submit it. So even though they're gone, I still have a lot of work. So let me get going, so at least do as many as many things as possible before they come and I could have a little time to myself. So yeah, that's it. So this is gonna be hard to show you, but um, before my son left, cause I really wanted them to go before five o'clock, right now it's four something, they're still out. So he, he, this is a test that he's supposed to do. And I checked it, it was pretty good. Um, he got up to this question, page, um, question nine. And he answered it correctly, but he left this part empty where he had to put these names. So what I did is that I answered it, and I did a, what did I do? I did a, a sniff it, and I, uh, a screenshot. I took a screenshot of it. So what I'm going to do now, this is the screenshot, and uh, this is the test itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the answers. Because I really want him to answer it, not me. But I just made stuff a little bit easier for me. I have the answer somewhere. He won't know I have it. Then once he comes, all he has to do is put the names here. And then, uh, and all I have to do is check it with uh, the screenshot that I did. That's the screenshot. There's the answers. And this is the one that he did, and I removed the answers. So that is almost done. He pretty much did pretty decent job. This is what he had to read, and these are the questions. And he got up to here. So I answered these again. There is, this is the, I, you know, paste it on Word document. And here, that's the answers. And then all he has to do when he comes back is fill it in and then all I have to do is uh, check it with my stuff. So now I have to go to the next things that uh, I have to check. Go. My name is Mark Lee and I'll be talking about Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was an American abolitionist and a political activist. She was born Dorchester County, Maryland in 1820. Both of her parents were slaves. She was mistreated as a child. Harriet Tubman sometimes was beaten because of the baby she was babysitting crying. 
She was an escaped slave. The first time she escaped, she escaped with her brother. She helped many other slaves escape. Her bravery was called the Underground Railroad. She died in 1913 in Auburn, New York. Read how they put it, because they want you to read it to me out loud. Go ahead. There are lots of ways to get places. Some people drive in cars, some float in boats. I like trains best. I like long trains and short trains. Trains speed past farms and hills. Trains are fast and fun. Trains go on railroad tracks. Their wheels spin fast. Railroad tracks are laid from coast to coast. Mom and dad. Oh, there's no mom and dad. Mom, dad, and I. Mm -hmm can see lots of towns on trains. This train has many cars. I can visit each car in, in this. There's a period, so I can visit each car. Stop, and then you start doing your In sense. this car, mm -hmm. I can get a snack and pay for it. Trains have big soft seats. Oh, there's a comma. You pause a little bit. Trains have big soft seats. You didn't do it. Trains have big soft seats. Trains have big soft seats. Mm -hmm. I can sit and chat with mom and dad. I can nap on the seats too. I can... I can nap on the seats too. See, your tone of voice matter as you read. But go ahead. I met my friends Gail and Faye on the on a train. I had fun with them. We play all day. I say that trains are the best way to travel. Which way? Do you like to travel the best? Okay, so you missed a couple things here. Remember, you're looking for A-Y and A-I. I see you then highlight some of them. Played. Uh, go back to these, the last few sentences. There's some you, uh, you missed. I highlight them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more. Mm-hmm. Good. Now we're going to submit it, and then we're going to work on the next one. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. So... When we, sometimes when you're reading the author, the person who's writing the story, don't tell you certain things directly. They're implying certain things, so it is up to you to use your common sense to know what they mean. Right? So last week we read that, we went over it. The Earth Dragon Awakened. So the teacher here is highlighting some of the things. So let's see, based on the homework, some of the things we mentioned and his homework thing. Okay? So we met Henry and his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Travis. The Travis family is rich, rich and has a big house, right? So who remember somebody there are uh, there's somebody who worked for him? Who worked for Mr. and Mrs. Travis? Mm, I think. And Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen. And who is Mr. Chen and Ha Seng, if you remember? They're Chinese. They're Chinese, very good. And what else? How are they related to each other? Ha Seng and Mr. Uh, Cheng. Mm. In terms of family wise, how are they related? Is uh, Ha Seng an adult or a child? A child. Okay, and Mr. Chen is what? An adult. An adult. So how are they related? It's father and son. Okay? So remember that. All right? So also we met Ha Seng and Mr. Chen. They are immigrants from China, which you said, and live in a tenement. You see, remember? I told you what tenement means? It's apartment. And what example did I give you of the type of tenement? Brownstone. Brownstone is an example. Very good. And Chinatown. Okay? Ha Seng works for the Travis family. So on April 18, 1906, there was, what, what happened? Earthquake. Okay. 
Henry gets trapped in his room, but Mr. Travis, his dad, get him out. Is that what we mentioned in the homework? Okay, so we're getting all this correct. Um, Chen and Hassan get stuck under their roof, but dig themselves out. Right? Did we also realize that? You remember? As I was explaining to you while we were reading? Yes or no? You remember? Yeah, but, but I think want to go get help. Right. But <clears throat> that's right. You're right. Did then Hassan dig himself out? No. He was... What? There was a hole and then he went through. He went through. So he, he didn't dig through. But the, he still had to push stuff out of the way. Why was Hassan was the, uh, the only one able to get out through the hole? Maybe the hole was his size and then he went through. Okay, why Mr. Chen couldn't get out? He was too big. Okay, very good. Okay, so Henry's neighbors, they tried to collect important items from the house, from their homes, but in Chinatown, they gather and try to stay safe. In Chinatown, people do not have as many important items as the people in the Travis's neighborhood, which is why they do not save things. Okay, so we didn't mention this part in the homework last week, but it's good to know. Mommy, one question. Where is Chinatown? Well, different states, and some states don't have Chinatown. Like New York? New York has, and uh, I believe California has, because this these areas have a lot of immigrants. So if you go, let's say, maybe Wyoming or something, there's not too many immigrants. They probably don't have Chinatown. So areas that have immigrants, so the, the group of people who come from the same places, they usually live together, and then their area becomes, you know, a, a, almost a representative of their home back in their country. You understand? So New York, California has Chinatown, from what I know. And uh, so that's pretty much that. All right, so today we will focus character responses in the story, the ways that the different characters react to the situation. So we're going to continue. Let's see. This is the homework. For, uh, the, uh, remember, I took this because it was too small to read. I pasted someplace else so I could In enlarge word, it. Word. Mm -hmm. So let's see. If they're asking stuff from it, we, I could open the one that I copy. All right, so here, character response review. To find character response, you need to identify the characters and the events. After that, you can begin to think about how the characters react to the events and learn how their character traits. Watch this video to learn more about characters. All right, so I'm going to put this another, oh, maybe I could, can I? Yep. So you're going to listen to this, okay? And when you finish, just uh, let me know. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare lunch. Okay? Okay, but I don't feel like being in the spot. Where do you want to be? You want me to put this on the table for you? I want to be over there. Well, uh, let me do that. All right. It's too hot over here. Okay, it's fine. 